Okay, just as soon as I know we're rolling, I'm going to redo the intro and we'll just call all this, you know, our normal prep. Um, okay, so yeah, OBS was on the wrong microphone. So quick recap and what we've, you know, we're talking about just now. Uh, Alwyn, date with the black staff. Again, we don't know how this happened. Uh, Agnar has a job where over the next week he needs to follow the dung sweepers for reasons Malik doesn't remember. Or Andy doesn't remember. Malik uh, was asked to check on some murderers at the dock. So he is dressing up as a half-elf to lure the murderer out while Alwyn is on her date with only an exhausted Agnar as backup. I'm going to die tonight. <laughs> I think oh, we're officially ready for you, Cal. Do not underestimate the power of a bard. Oh, by the way, when I was going up that mountain to talk to a monk, one of the strings on the loop broke. So now I'm polishing my small but new Congo drums. And I'm carrying that around on my hip. I have no I have statements about that whatsoever. Tupacid is saying that they make it through the entire adventure. Oh yeah, those things are tough. I'll take five. Well, before you head out to uh, to meet up with the gun with the gun with the uh, gun sweepers, you notice at the foot of the pub. As you come out, there is a small box, kind of long, a little, little on the wider side, filled with air holes, and it says to Alwyn. No. And there is a rustling noise coming from inside. Okay, uh, I can move it with uh, wind magic. But I'm just gonna go up to a box and lift it up. It's and I'm gonna take out the cover. As you take off the cover, a uh, small furry noodle of an animal rushes out up your arm and stares you blankly in the face with its large black beady eyes, and it chitters at you. It is a ferret. Okay, I, I open wide eyed as it, like, right up on it, gets my face, and then the thing, ah, oh. and I start petting its cheek if it allows me to. It starts hopping on your shoulder and then falls off, catching itself around about your belt on your waist, and then climbs back up your shoulder and then starts dancing again before jumping down off of you and running up Alwyn's leg and curling itself around her. So much love. All right. He chose her over me. It um it's wearing a small collar with a with a tag on it that says my name is Frederick. Is what, sorry? Frederick. Frederick. Aw. Freddy. Freddy the Weasel. Freddy the Parrot, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty uh, good for it. Aw. Definitely gonna show it lots of love. Um, gonna probably inquire to check out the box to see if we can tell who this is from. Inside of the box, there's just a small symbol of a black staff inside of it. No, I need to get her something really nice. What could I get her? It's her weird. I I've heard about flowers being you know the norm. I guess she didn't get that memo. Well, they so, both begin with F. Flowers are nice, but she also said food, which is another thing being with F. Um, <laughs> what items beginning with F could I gift her? Uh, freckles, fragrance. 
But it's a family show, so I won't say any of the others. <laughs> I, I don't know about that. Some other streamers seem to do some weird things. Yeah, that, that's oh, other streamers. Yeah. That's other streamers, okay? I have a certain <laughs> line that I don't like to cross. No. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think that sometimes you find yourself more creative when you give yourself boundaries. Yeah, exactly. And especially when you're not dealing with um, with doing that to a live stream. Yes. So, freckles and fragrance is Malik's only thoughts. Fermentation. Something with an actor, a perfume of sorts, an ointment for tonight. Fermented wine. Fortified fermented wine. Get her drunk. Yeah, fermented fine wine. Uh, no, uh, fortified uh, fine. That too. I don't know anything about alcohol, so this is why it's coming through. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking about you know the milk carton fortified with iron, wine with nutritional supplements. I'm just picturing a stone wall around the alcohol <laughs> when they say fortified. They're like little turrets. Um... <laughs> if anybody, I swear, if anybody in marketing is listening to this right now and you start selling wines that are, or that are a fortified wine and the casing around it is a wall that is off of a turret, pay DC her 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 pen her her pence for that man because that is actually quite that cheap. is awesome <laughs> it's not really a thing what's being in that context but uh yeah definitely give it lots of love what could we oh, get her in fables get her a book of fables book of fables fables <laughs> like stories like children's stories uh, fables, fresh fruit. Uh, <laughs> He's stuck on the letter F so much. <laughs> A lot of the good gifts seem to begin with F. Um, I think maybe I've got a bit of money. I can go get her a nice perfume. Agnar's like, oh, wait, wait, wait. And he takes out of his pouch where he usually keeps the smaller instruments a wooden flute card from a Nash. And hands it, it hands it over to Al. Loot starts with an F. Loot, yeah. Um, oh gosh, my mind's going blank on other things beginning with F. Uh, All I've got are fine clothes and a forgery kit, and I can't afford really. The clothes won't fit her, and I need the forgery kit. So. Yeah, what do I have? I've got fine clothes too, huh? Um. Hmm. Gonna, because it, it, I, I am very grateful for this pet, um, and I think she should appreciate. She might appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I'll probably go shopping for a fine dress or perfume or just something for her to check out when she's not working. There you go. <laughs> Let's go shopping. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I hate saying that seriously. <laughs> Right, meeting up with the gung sweepers in the in their own section of the do uh, of the uh, dock ward, you run into a hodgepodge group of men sitting at a, uh, sitting at their favorite pub, the Drunken Mule, enjoying a breakfast of sausages, mashed potatoes, some sort of oatmeal cake that looks like as if it's been mixed with blood, and cooked fried and then deep fried and then what looks like the contents uh, the 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 um, stomach of a sheep filled with oats spices and its own liver oh i'm having some of that as you come up one of them actually nods to you, and it's a it's a small kobold. Does that count? Say what? There's the help, the the the, the sons. 
Just little scaly one. We are the hell. And Agnar tries to flex a little bit. Seeming a little bit bigger. The the tiny kobold stands up and goes, Less as the scaly one, as the tiny dragon! <laughs> the orc, uh, an, an orc sitting at the edge of the group comes over and just pats him on the head and goes, It's nice to finally meet you all. Um, yeah, it's, it's great that, that the Harpers have sent some help for us. It's, uh, with the way that the streets have been over the past few days, it, it's really good that, that somebody at least cares about us, the little folks. Yes, the little Hello, folks! Hey, little guy, watch this. And I'll open my mouth, kind of like to blow out, and I'll use Minor Illusion to illusion a jet of flame coming out of my mouth. Can you it do that, fall, little dragon? It falls down off of its stool and its eyes go wide and it goes, There's a dragon too! Damn right. I'm from the north. Lots of them up there. We got a lot of those ones. It skitters back up to its plate and starts eating in a very crude fashion, just gobbling everything up at once. The orc, the orc just raised his brow at it as he turns to you all. Well, it's don't be surprised if this ends up being just a very slow next few days. Um, but it's it's good that you guys are here to help anyway. Once they're all done, they then load up and you're able to escort them around their areas and nothing happens today. There's just a tense feeling to the air. Um, but other than that, it is quite boring. Mm -hmm. Do they use any, see any, do they seem more tense, the, the girl with us being there or a little bit more? The gung sweepers seem to be relaxed with you guys being around, but there is a general feeling of anxiety and, and worry as you walk through the streets, everybody keeping their distance from each other about two meters, one would say. Uh, yeah. Sometime but, uh, between the middle of the day, I'm going to take out the Congo drums and just start doing a little bit of a upbeat rhythm to kind of ease them into us being there, kind of liven the atmosphere a little. And I'm just going to pick up some cheap booze and pretend to be drunk. <laughs> But um, other than that, the day goes uneventfully. Um, Alwyn, while there, while you guys are out patrolling with the gung sweepers, you do see a very, very good um, dressmaker um, in the area, and they seem to be selling quite fine dresses. random gift for her to have downtime because she's run away with people where she can't really have downtime it seems like um and she looks great anyway but it would be nice for her to feel even more pretty so definitely gonna go in and be very friendly and say oh hi uh hope you're doing well today to the owners i'm doing a bit fine how are you doing ma'am i'm doing pretty good say I i've got a friend and i'd like to get a Really nice dress for her. Um, what information would you need to get done? Like, would I need to bring her here, or would it be possible to surprise her? Well, if you've got her measurements, I'll be able to make a dress for you quite, for her quite finely. I just need bust, inseam, outseam, waist, um, how tall she is. All right. Um, 
right, uh, I'll see if I can do some research. I don't want to get her something in the wrong size. That might not be a very good message, but definitely very, very nice. Um, I'm gonna bring her here on our little hanging out day. That could be very nice. Oh, um, there. Uh, depending upon who it is, I might already have some of their sizes in. Oh, would you? That that would be really nice and not too invasive. Uh, this is the uh the black stuff. She's a really nice girl, and I, I just think she deserves something really pretty and really nice. Um. Yeah. Pull the other one, right? You're 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 not really being serious. No, I'm pretty serious. She she's a wonderful lady, and we're having a little outing, and I think it could really be nice for her to just have the time to wear a nice dress. And have some time off. She she's she works too hard. She needs some time off. Don't tell her I sent you. That, that this could be a really nice surprise for her. Okay then. That's that's um. I'll be able to. Uh... I'll I'll be able to uh to to find a bit of something for her. Uh, if you come back tomorrow, I should have something quite fine. Oh, that's that's really nice. Uh, how much would you price it? Well, making something for the Grand Black Staff herself—that's going to be around about ten gold. Ten gold. That's. That's genuinely very lovely. You're a really wonderful person. Thank you for doing this, and I will be seeing you tomorrow. She's actually quite happy now, and and she's just like, this is going to be an interesting one. It should be, and I really hope you have fun with it too. All right. Moving on from that, the day goes on and on, nothing real eventful happens, and the sun begins to fall and set on this first day, leading on to the first night. So I do believe that Malik, you and Agnar were going to be scouring the city streets for um, for this uh, attacker, yes. Uh, yeah, I recall yeah, it was I re around the docks. Yeah. So you go out disguised. The night, while it is tense, you don't hear any news of any. Um, you don't hear any news of, of anything that's been going on. It was brought to you by um, by your contact. But uh, nothing, nothing comes out. Um, nothing comes out as immediately, well, even subtly striking you as it's a concern that's uh, that's connected into what you've been asked to investigate. So that first night passes in quite quiet, um, anxious waitings. I wouldn't say that because uh, you have a, a drunken half elf trying to cast spells. I think uh, it was very loud, actually. Um, how are you doing that? Because there are logs. Uh, mostly oh. I am pretending to be uh somewhat, you know, reading the spell book. Occasionally using a little bit of thaumaturgy just to make a small, you know. A little bit of, uh, make it look like the spell was about to do something, but then did nothing. And then, you know, some muttering while I complain about, you know, this book isn't even written in right writing. Mostly just trying to look like an easy target. 
with the occasional flash of light in my own face. Um, uh, that pretty much, let me just see if that does break any laws. Okay, I need to see if I need you to... Hey, if people are getting their heads chopped off and nobody's catching them, I'm pretty sure I'm fine. It's not that nobody's catching them, it's just that, um, the guards are literally a bit, ha are literally a bit busy dealing with the war between the Zentarum and Zathar's guild. Exactly. So a drunken sailor trying to improve his lot in life should not be anything of any major important. It's not like I'm setting not other like people I'm on fire yet. I vaguely recall the code legal and as long as I'm not burning down buildings or people, I'm good. Just for clarification, I'm about like 40 feet away from where I'm at. Trying to stay as stealthy as I can. Okay. Okay, everything goes good. Why is there so much stuff? So, leading on to the next day, there is, once again, nothing of note happening with the gung sweepers. Um, as the sun sets, Alwyn, the dress is ready and it is delivered to you by courier. And you now have your date with the Black Staff, while Malik and Angar are trying to deal with the um, with the person. Well, trying to hunt down the person killing uh, killing half elves in the Dark War. Okay, uh, can I tip the courier just to get them? Yeah, you can. Can I get them five gold? I gave you guys way too much gold if you're just getting out gold to tips. No, 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 no this, this is, is just Alan. Alan. <laughs> this is what Alan is. This is just, I want to make you have a nice day. Go go take care of yourself. You've been very nice. And pass on, like, my good sentiments to your employers. Hope you have a wonderful yeah. evening. I should be getting ready. Thank you. Alan, you probably just paid him, like, six months' wages. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> like, he's going to go quit his right. job now. Uh, it's still, it's still a nice thing. It's a nice encouragement to keep doing said job because people could be as nice as I am, and it's a very friendly thing to do. I'm waiting for the dark twist that comes kind of into this game. It's like all cheerful and stuff. Honestly, I, <laughs> I'm wondering, uh, you know, the fact that he's got a, a book she would normally stop him, but. He's, he's trying to get revenge on some mysterious person for all the torture they've inflicted on him, it seems. No, I'm actually saving that up for after this game ends and we start up the next one. Hey, I'm going to drop like a 19 copper just to get cheap booze again. Something that, you know, again, more of the, 
the grog a drunken sailor would probably pick up. Which about a third, two thirds of is probably going to be more poured on me than actually, you know, imbibed. Yeah. Um, the grog is actually quite fruity. It seems like as if it's rum mixed in with some fruit juices and then watered down quite a lot. But it's it's decent for something that's quite cheap for a sailor. Um, but yeah, your, your guys' night goes quite smoothly. We're going to traverse into Alwyn's date. Okay. I'm never rushing to do this. <laughs> and we said that we were meeting at Troll Skull Manor, yeah? I believe so. I think, yeah, she wanted to meet at our place and then uh, we would go, I was going to treat her something nice. I don't remember what the plan was. I'm bad at planning dates. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, yeah. Um, oh yes, this map, I remember it. <laughs> With the spooky basement. It wasn't as spooky because we have a nice friend down there. Where the heck is ground floor? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't find that funny. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the freaking thing. Because no, I've actually got everything else set up for the rest of the night, uh, for the rest of the game already, but I can't find... There we go. For some reason, I can't find... There she is. Oh, she looks so cute. What the black stuff does on dates. What are her moves? What does she like? Fine wine, red or white, champagne maybe? As the sun set, you can set down your token wherever you want. As the sun sets, you then hear the light knock on the front door of the uh, of the manor uh, as of the manor house's pub. Before in steps Vadra Safiar Safahar, the uh, black staff herself, and she smiles and and nods to you and goes it's good to see you again. uh i'm gonna turn and greet her with a nice smile and actually go up to her um and hold my arms out for a hug and <laughs> she embraces you she embraces you warmly and, and notices that you have the uh have frederick the ferret with you and she goes, oh, you got him. Yeah, I mean, he, he was very lovely. He took a really strong liking to me. He was very, very nice. He was a little bit uncomfortable with Ragnar, apparently. But, uh, I mean, eventually he'll get used to having other people around. It's always nice. And he seems very nice and sociable. Uh, well, I, I thought... I thought that that would actually... I thought that... You would especially like this, given given how full of life you are, and it instantly reminded me very much of, of how these little creatures. Are. Oh yes, definitely. He's he's a lot of he's a lot of fun and energy. He's just so loving too, and that that's something that's so lovely. Speaking of, I have a surprise for you as well. If you just wait here for a moment, let <laughs> me run off. <laughs> Not gonna run to the other floor, but come back and present her the the dress. I saw a dress shop and 
saw this and thought like these colors would really match your skin and it would look really lovely on you and i think the dressmaker knew who you were so made it for your size i do hope you like it i i feel like it's nice to be able to look nice in your own time okay um you pull out the dress and how would you describe this this gift that you have gotten for the lovely blacks um it's oh god i don't know anything about dresses <laughs> oh shit um uh, <laughs> um oh no is it um, open in the back is it too revealing does it's, it have fluffy parts? Uh, I feel like it has, uh... Oh no, I should know more about dresses than I do. Fuck. Um... Uh... <laughs> yes, <laughs> good idea, Malik. <laughs> Damn it. Um... Yeah, oh no. Uh, it's a... It's a nice, deep blue dress. Uh, with uh, some fine stitchings around the sleeves um, to kind of have a, a nice neat but formal look. Um, it doesn't show too much. It's still pretty mobile. It's pretty loose. It is not corseted, so it's nice and relaxing to wear. It's not actually restricting in any way. <laughs> what else do I know about dresses? Fuck. Um, <laughs> it's... Um, Oh god, <laughs> this is difficult. I'm about to describe There will be a quiz later in the game. Oh yeah, what kind of dress did I give her? Damn it. <laughs> um, it will probably go down to about a little bit above her knees. Uh, just nice and comfortable. Something she can wear in her own space. Um, not too, not like halfway up to fly. It's just knee level-ish. A little above the knee. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it doesn't have a petticoat, so it doesn't have to be big and poofy. It's just a nice, comfortable, but very pretty dress. Equivalent to, to a backless summer dress of today. I yeah, maybe. I don't know enough about dresses. <laughs> this, is, this is one of the things where it's sad. I, I probably know a lot about dresses. <laughs> What's even worse is I should know way more because my best friend was getting married and she went through dresses with me so often and I don't remember any of it now. <laughs> yeah, but Kyle, you're married, so you you've yeah. been to dress shops and stuff. I'm married and I've had to do costuming a few times. <laughs> okay then, I have two sisters. I know nothing besides what I just said about like five minutes ago. Like three things. That's about it. I do not pay attention when I go shopping with my sisters. I stay there and suffer in silence. I don't go shopping. <laughs> Unless my friend wants to get married and she spends two weeks sitting with me looking at different dresses, describing how it's right for her, and then deciding what I'm going to wear, which is the most terrifying thought ever. Uh... I'm apparently the woman of every group that I'm part of. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it's okay, don't be some out girl you want. But dresses is not one of them. <laughs> she she takes it in hand and she's actually she she's quite enthralled by it. She goes, Ooh, this is this is very nice. Thank you. Um I, I won't be able to, to change into it right now, but thank you. Yeah, I think changing into it right now would be a little inappropriate, but it's something just for you to keep for your own, and I feel it would just be nice to have. Uh, yeah. but I'm glad you like it, really. It means a lot that you you like it, and I chose well, at least. So, oh, that, that's great. Um, she looks around, and she goes, so we... we're again, drinking, or, or, or do you have anything... Back. Um, Nick. <laughs> I meant for the dress. I meant for the dress. <laughs> Let's not go off in another tangent. This is because of the dress, so she can change into it. 
I'm clarifying that. Still no. <laughs> no. That's the... No. I'm not uh, the no. one with six up. <laughs> Are, are we are we going to be eating here, or are we going to be going on to somewhere else, or? Um, I'll be honest, we haven't really set up the place well enough to eat here, but I'm pretty sure we can find some nice place in town, and I don't mind paying. I've got way more money than I know what to do with, and I feel like it could be nice just you to have a night off and not to worry about anything. Oh, th thank you very much. Um... I know a good uh, I, I know a good fish and chip shop um, down one of the lower wards if you're if that's agreeable with you and if the, your Agnar will cook I, I take it if Agnar cooks there's going to be a lot of meat involved oh no <laughs> well, he, he's been with royalty so he knows what people of high stature like he's not a barbarian I mean, I get the feeling Alwyn just loves food, so with the option of fish and chips, definitely going to jump on that. Of if, if you really like fish and chips, hell yeah, that could be a lot of fun. Yeah, that, that's one of my favorite meals. Let's go do that. <laughs> nice. And, and to cut the awkwardness for everyone involved. <laughs> <laughs> The date goes. the The date goes very well. She shows you the. She shows you the city at night and how, and and tells you about how the street lights work and how how the magisters deal with that side. And then she she uh, exchanges a few stories about some of her past um, adventures and listens to to yours if you go on about them. And yeah, all in all, it's very. No, yeah, it's very nice. I get to be now will be very open and basically tell her everything and anything. <laughs> we have a portable disc. Is it on the bongos? <laughs> no, this is a violin. Like real, like real romantic. As much as he can muster, he's gonna do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Most romantic. There's always a drunk to keep things romantic. <laughs> It's not a party until it's not a party unless somebody vomits on somebody else's lap and passes out in the street in their own urine. It's okay, we could help him. Oh, this is like the best thing. But good after hit a date went well. <laughs> 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 All right, moving on to the third day, the gun sweepers are actually quite uh, quite a boring time. You are finding, and and the time continues, and then it leads on into the night. Malik and Agnar, you are making your way through the city streets. Where exactly would you be on this street map? And Alwyn, are you with them? I am uh, looking at the map of the tavern. Yeah, we're still at the tavern map, sorry. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, probably finish feeding Frederick and just bring him out for a nice little, uh, Pressure outside and just the other two they, they let her do her thing. Uh yeah, I guess now I'm a her. Uh they they let they let Alwyn do do my thing. Um So yeah, just just to keep an eye on them and figure out what the excitement is going on, why they've been running out so often when she's gone shop when when I've gone shopping and uh just playing with the ferret. I as we were walking the streets, I'm keeping about a 40 foot distance from Malik. I assume he's going for his same routine, so. Um, 40 feet just to keep a distance than to be in range of any spells. Um, 
and I'm going to be, you know, hitting up the spots where, you know, the latest, latest reports of attacks were at. Oh, uh, I have I have cast uh, mage armor on myself before going out. So I, I, I kind of figured that was going to be a given. Yeah, I just I like to go ahead and call it now, so that way when I say it later, I'm not you know doing it retroactively. Now let me remember how to apply that. In there we go. It's always fun trying to remember how to apply these things in uh, Roll20 when you don't use them very often. So, yep. Um, like I said, last, as I understood it, it was somewhere around the dock, so that's where Malik hangs out. Okay. As you're sweeping the docks for, for, this, um, for this murderer, are you going north to south, east to west? Uh, I mean, was I given any sort of pattern or information that might help me? Otherwise, um, it's just literally, you know, walking around as if I am one of the sailors just trying to be a target. Like, I am bait. Um, no, there wasn't any particular pattern um, really to it. But it did seem like as if the uh, the concentration of it was more towards what the um, what the the Zentarum would consider their sort of holdings. Which is more on the southern part of the uh, of the dockyards. Um, so Saying that you're exploring around, would it be fair to say then that you guys would be coming from over here? Uh, we're we're lo or... not looking at the city map. Yeah, we're at the tavern still. So. Uh, that's where I've got you guys. Is it more on the bottom of, of this particular? We're looking at the tower map. map. We're looking at the tower. Tower map. Tavern map. Yeah. Yeah, we're still not. Okay. Now I've got you on the approach. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I'll just bring myself out to a random spot. Because. Yeah. Where were you pinging, Kyle? So. About where. About where Andy put Malik. All right. Um... Then that's as good a spot as any. So I'm imagining uh, the bottom part is south, right? Yep. All right. Um, yeah. I heard an R. Whoa. We'll probably be here in this in this small alleyway, keeping an eye on him. Well, that's a little bit too far. Um, about there, hiding behind that wall. I'll just be slowly walking up, trying to walk up. <laughs> okay, as you do that, a half elf starts to wander out from the uh, from the pub called the. Uh, Mole Skull, Mule Skull Tavern. He is quite drunk in and of himself, and he seems to be having a gay old time as he leaves the, um, leaves the establishment and starts to head south. Can I get a perception check from him? Okay. This would be a great excuse for me to roll low. Cause I'm just gonna <laughs> I am very in character right now, apparently. Oh, wrong. wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. Told you. I want that wrong. Want that. <laughs> I told you, I have really crappy perception. No, you have decent perception. You just roll like shit. Sorry. That's I got really rude. 
<laughs> no, that is totally true. Or did you forget that natural one that got me to exhaustion last session? Yeah, that was that was interesting. Yeah, as the uh, as the, as the drunken uh, half elf starts to round the corner, he suddenly lets out a loud scream. Okay, I'm just running straight over then. I can see Malik still, right? Yeah, you can. Okay. So that would probably catch my attention. And I, and I, I look over there. Oh, yeah. And I'll, do I do I notice Al coming? Like, have I seen her following me? Probably. Well, you probably heard her talking to her parrot. All right. He lets out a loud scream Sorry. as a drow suddenly appears from the shadows and attempts to run him through with a rapier, gut, pretty much slamming the sword into his gut so that it sticks out the other side, but the guy is not. All right, uh, I want to take a shot with my uh, light crossbow. Okay, right. pulling yeah. out. if I see him pulling out a weapon, I'm pulling on my sword and running towards him. Before you do so, everybody roll in the ships. Hopefully this will go better. Much better. I was ready for this. You were born ready for this. I should have an excuse to roll low because I've got the ferrets. I'm not distracting my movements. <laughs> yeah. Agnar, you get to act first. All right. I unsheathed my longsword, Ballad Breaker. And. Hold on. Crap. I thought I was going last on initiative. <laughs> And I will. F how I can't see how badly the hat hurt, right? Um, you see a sword sticking out his back, oh, and it's oh, and it's not like it's, it's not like as if he's carrying it that way. It is literally sticking out of his back, like somebody's rammed him through the front. This is usually a bad thing. You know, that's just my medical right. opinion. <laughs> I probably can't get there with my speed. Nah. It's just out of my reach. So I'm going to run halfway. So one, two, three, four, and six. Enough for the draw to see me. You going to do anything? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's great. Okay, why is it? Yeah, okay. Bane. So he needs to make a wisdom saving throw, I believe. A charisma saving throw, sorry. What is the DC of it? Fourteen. Sixteen. Ah, frick. Okay, then. With... Yeah. With my bonus action, I will inspire Malik. And I'll say, there, this is what we came to do. Kill that bastard. And that's it. So you have one each. All right. Um, it is now our paladin's turn. Um, I was 
gonna get closer. How about he will do? And uh, cure wounds on this guy who's been run through, why not? Okay. This guy should be okay, so if we can make it through whatever, uh, whatever's happening. And just kind of say, it's okay, don't worry, we've got we've got this, you're going to be okay. The guy. Um, as you lay or as you lay your hands upon him, the, uh, shore, the sword is forced out of his gut, and the wound heals, mending itself completely, as if no damage was done to him. Thank you very much for that. You're welcome. Anytime, buddy. Wait, we take care of each other out here. Alright. Is there anything else that you're going to do? Uh, I don't think there's much else I can, so I don't mind leaving it there. Actually, I want to take another copy, just to be sure. Uh, oh. No, there is nothing else I can do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Malik, it's your go. Okay. Um, if I've got a clear shot already, if not, I will move to get one. But I'm going to shoot my crossbow at him. You got a decent enough shot at him. Okay. And uh, Agnar, uh, I don't know if I'm able to uh, use my inspiration on attack sh or not. I believe you do. Okay. Um, attack roll, saving throw, ability check. Okay, which oh, yeah. which uh, which die was it? A d4? 1d6. 1d6, okay. We're going to add that to make that a 17. That actually, that would have hit without the, uh, without the inspiration, so if you don't want to use it, you can still... Okay, then I will save it. Yeah. And uh, yeah. three uh, piercing. Three piercing. That doesn't sound right. I mean, because I'm supposed to get a plus four. Nope, okay, that's so that's damage. Okay, never mind. That's just crappy damage. Okay. Any other actions? Uh, nope. That's everything I am capable of doing. Uh, I guess I'm going to run up after the guy with my movement because I don't want him to get too far away. So. That'll do it. All right, Malik, since you've actually hit him, since you've actually hit him and put yourself in the way, uh, the drow uh, turns his, sword, his short sword upon you and definitely makes two attacks on you. I instantly regret all my life choices. Does a 22 hit and does a 23 hit? Uh, I think that's a given. The first attack does 10 piercing. The second attack does 7 piercing. I'm dead. You're down on the ground? Yeah. I'm level 2. This guy is clearly attacking a little bit above my range. I'm trying to see if I can do something. I mean, I, I know I can do something, but it means I can't do anything else. Uh, uh, no, I cannot do anything because when the damage is me with melee attack. The bandit turns upon his attacker and pulls out a scimitar of his own. Oh no. <laughs> and misses like as if he's... Flinging drunkenly in his drunken state. It all fits. That was very obvious, yeah. Agnar, it's your turn. Alright. Um, sorry, I'm doing this spell thought thing. I forgot to discount the last one. Okay, so Malik's on the floor. This can only... Wow. This turned to be really, really bad. Okay. Um, yeah, 
and there's there's no space for me to maneuver right this side of the guy, like right there, right? Oh, you can no, jump over my body. body. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Uh, Alan, get Malik, and I will sprint next to here. Um, I want to check one thing about one of the maneuvers I have. Oh, God, no, I could have done something. I'm sorry. There's something I realized I could have done, but I didn't do it. But I'm actually going to show All you. Right. We'll so, as my action, I'm going to wail on this. And I'm doing it to him. Does that hit? Yeah, that does. Don't hit our sorcerer! I'm just going to whack him. And I have a... I want to see how you would rule this, so... The Actually, no. <laughs> and as my bonus action, I will uh, cast Healing Word on Malik. Oh, good. So, that's 1d4 plus uh, 4 because my Christmas. Uh, it's been a while. So, five hit points. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, I wake up. Did we win? <laughs> and that is every spec of my turn. Bonus action, action. All right. Alwyn, it's your turn. You can move through Malik and Agnar like as if they're difficult terrain, so you can spend four movement points to go through both of them and end up on the other side of the drow. It would not be smart, because there was a future diarrhea that I had which actually would come in handy, and it would help protect our smushy sorcerer. Um... I was gonna like look at Malik and go, "Are you doing okay? Do you need help? I can help you out if you need it. It's probably the best I can do right now." I, um, I mean, I'm I'm awake. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm doing good, but okay. you can always kill that guy. That'll help. Points, I think. Wait, gonna do lay on hands on. Yeah, I'll do it anyway. Can I do lay on hands on Malik? Okay. Um, so I'm going to give you five. Okay. Hey, now he's got that five HP. It's canon. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask, is that better? Or do you reckon you're going to be okay from this? I think I'll be okay. Okay, but I, I've got you. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Are, are you going to be moving from that spot after doing that? Uh, going to move only here. Because I have a plan. Wait, I'll show you what the plan was. Because I forgot to do it. And I should have. So I am sorry. Uh, I'm going to put up my shield. And just look very carefully. And be ready to intercept if anything flies towards Malik. All right. No, that's good. He just saves me. She's also us. Malik, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get up. And well, I'm on top of this guy now. So uh, it'll be better if I just, uh, I guess, try to stab him with a dagger. Because I he didn't run like I thought he might, so dagger stab. Where's okay? Hey, it actually rolled. Actually rolled. That hits. Okay. I seem to be having a delay. There we go. That's not great damage, but it's damage. Okay. 
This is oh, why I need to get to level 3. Ah. So you can use your inspiration to add to your damage. Or your AC. So Malk is in. Oh, squishy! I've actually got abilities that uh, just haven't... I haven't been able to take full use of yet, so... Oh, fair enough. All right. Uh, do you have any bonus actions you're taking? Uh, nope. That's everything. All right. Moving on to the gunslinger. Seeing that now he has a very PO'd bard against him, turns his sword, his short sword against. Him. Does a ten hit? Uh, me? No, yeah. that does not hit. Does a 17 hit? Mm, hold on. Too fuck me to help. Uh, yeah, it hits. Take 8 piercing damage, please. I will parry that. So, 1d6 plus my dex. My dex is a plus 2. Oh, I forgot five. you had the ability to parry. Yeah. So, how much damage was it initially? It was 8 damage initially. Alright, so I take 3. Darn, I took 3 points of damage. I was hoping not to take any of it, so I'll take it. Alright. The Drunken Sailor. Attacks once more, scoring an amazing seven <clears throat> points of damage before he steps back to allow you all space to move in. <laughs> Taking a hit in the gut from the uh, short sword of the drown process. Can I use my reaction to impose disadvantage? Yes, you can, but it would still hit. Fuck. <laughs> this guy does not mess around when he actually gets high. Because <laughs> he rolled a 21 and a 20. That is still... Oh, that's man. still good. Oh, dang it. It was worth a try. I'm sorry, bandit guy. It's fine. Uh, it's fine, lass. Just kill him. A bit too permanent and unforgiving. I think he maybe needs to be taken to the authorities. He just stabbed me in the gut and tried to run me through. I think the authorities are going to be a bit more, uh, are going to be a bit less n necessary for them. All right, then. Once more, Ballad Breaker to his neck. I want to decapitate this bolt. Alright. Go for it. Oh, darn. That, that. that, that doesn't hit, unfortunately. Alright. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because Malg's already back at reasonable health, right? Yeah. 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 Alright. And... Yeah, that's about it. I don't want to waste any more inspiration. Alwyn, your turn. Okay. Well, I assume everyone's good now, so I'm going to take up the friendly invitation. And i uh, going to smack this guy with a, a war pick. Can't wait to smack this a bit more. <laughs> that hits! Um, hopefully this just brings him down. Big, hard knock. Uh, so we can discuss what we're going to do with this guy. You, you bring the uh, war pick down hard and heavy, but he is, uh, he is still standing. He is just getting more and more ticked off as things go on. Malik, it's your turn. Okay, I am going to, uh, 
sort of slide past uh, our uh, Agnar, and I'm going to uh, make sure that I cast this from a direction that won't hurt too bad, but I'm going to throw Acid Splash at him. So he needs to make a deck save. I almost forgot that he had used his reaction. Uh, yeah, you hit him. Okay. Uh, he takes three acid damage. Uh, won't you all just die? That's a horrible thing to say. I already did that. It wasn't pleasant. I look at him and I'm like... Dude, I'm just waiting for it to happen. Yeah, he's ancient. Hey. Yeah. Can you not see the wrinkles on my face? <laughs> that, that is all of my turn. This thing is not very perceptive. All right. Are you, uh, are, is that all that you're doing? Now? Yes, that is all of my turn. Yeah, it decides to waylay into the paladin. There's a 22 and a 24 hit. They both do, shockingly. I know. Um, the first hit deals 8 damage. The second hit deals 9. The thing is that before this, Kyle was used to trying to hit um, an arrow who had like freaking miscalculated male armor, armor made out of mithril. Yeah. Eight damage so, one. yeah. What was the damage? 17 in total. I had to say that after I've done half the damage. Okay, 26. Sorry. 6. 6. Around. 6. 7. 18. 10. Okay. Nice. That's a big hit. That's better done on me than any of you chumps. I can take some of it. Oh, and I wouldn't have referred to you guys as chumps. Any of my, my best friends. I, I would rather take the hit from my best friends. And this guy clearly isn't very nice. After what he did to Malik, what he did to this kind stranger. He just had too much to drink. He doesn't deserve any of this. Alright. The um, bandit switches over to his light crossbow. And misses. And it is now Agnar's turn. Okay, I'm moving here to do something I forgot to do last time with flanking position. As I'm running, I'm shouting at the dragon half of Pai Hul! And I'll strike! Okay. Nice. That hits. Take the damage. He's actually starting to look a bit weary now as as things go on. Starting right. to. Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing. Any bonus actions you're going to be using? Yeah, actually, um, I will inspire Alwyn, uh, and I will say, together, you and me, we will fight this fiend, strike him down, and that's about it. Sorry, my horrible singing voice. You have a uh, 1d6 uh, DC. Well, it's my turn, so what can I use this for? Uh, it looks weary. How weary does it look? Um, quite weary. Would you say he's bloodied? Yeah, he's bloodied a bit. Um, oh god. Do you know, I'll just do what you guys want. <laughs> and give this guy a, another smack. 
I'm gonna say, oi. Yep, I thought so. <laughs> a d6, you say, even though I won't be able to actually hit the target number for sure. Well, it'll, it'll get you up to 12 at first. Which still won't get us the target. Well, no, you actually get advantage because you're in flanking position. So I believe that would hit. Okay. Are we flanking then? That well, depends on the uh, the DM. Yeah. Last attack I hit flanking or not. So. Yeah, but some people don't uh, do the flanking rule. Um, flank I don't think actually happens in fifth act. It's an optional rule, but I've never f fully understood it, so I never used it. Yeah. For me, it's come up, come up in some other games, but in a lot of them, it isn't a rule. But it's normally the number one thing people ask. Yeah. yeah I don't tend to use it, so unfortunately, yeah. Okay. No problem. No. That is a critical failure. Nice. Uh, how would wishes that they could have just talked to this person? Oh. Would have been a lot easier. Actually, yeah. Let me just pull up a critical failure kit. No, I've no. Got, I can yes. pull up my cards right quick. Do not. I, Those I tables are horrible. I want it. Come at me. Those bumble judges are horrible. Like. Hey, what? I have had the guys win because I also have the corresponding critical hit deck and it yeah, quadrupled there's damage. Like, there's like one where if you try to, like, if you want to kick someone awake, you roll a critical, and there's one that says you lop a guy's head off. So if we're yeah. trying to wake a guy up, you yeah. essentially kill him. Yeah, that's a bit uh, extreme. I find, it, I find it fun anyway. Yeah, I, I, I don't know fun. too many people who are trying to wake someone up with a blade. But, but no, with a I think the scenario is with a foot. But being the guy, it still doesn't make sense. The end of the critical fumble is poor. I I I like it. So yeah. Come yeah, I I like the chart, but being being the target of it is poor. That's still fun. Mm -hmm. so let's hey, see, see what he's got time. for us. You just look at your shoulder. This is a complex one. <laughs> Um, yeah, the only thing that, that happens is that it, um, actually, no, I need to make one more roll. This thing is just so freaking, this is a complicated one. Okay. The gods are mad at you and strike you and your friends down. Roll new character. Okay, what does 18 get us? I hope it's not 18 damage. <laughs> that's the only thing that's okay. Me... It's okay. Piling goes down. You guys have potions, right? <laughs> I can save you if you go down. The attack misses! Is that really? Oh. Yeah, that is literally it. You got. Okay, what you got was roll 1d4 <laughs> on the 5. Roll one d4 twice on this table and ta and and use that as the result. Roll the seven. Roll one d4 with the two d4. You got seven, and it says one. Roll one d4 plus sixteen on this table, which then got you eighteen. Which then states weird luck. Roll again one d8, and on the eight you got a four. <sighs> wow. Well, that's dramatic. That too. was very anticlimactic. No, that's brilliant. That's definitely Do not thing. encourage him to try again. I guess, yeah. We're just waiting here, biting our nails, and I'm like, holy crap, what's going to happen? You just miss. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. So no bonus actions? Uh, bonus action... I guess trying to talk to the person that I've just missed is a bit too much. Trying to say, hey, I think this has all been enough. If you just 
voluntarily step down and like we can talk through this without having to kill you i don't want everyone else here to kill you i think it's fair that you talk through what's going on um i think you all just need to die that's not very nice. Oh. Okay, uh, okay, I'm just going to take a step to the side so he can't, you know, get past Agnar if he runs. And I'm going to cast Bane on him. So he needs to make a charisma save of 13. Oh my god. Whenever a target that fails his saving throw makes an attack or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from that attack or saving throw. Yeah. yeah. Um, he failed. Okay, so that should help us with the whole dying situation. And uh, that is, you know, the, the bulk of my turn, so... Um, that'll do it. That spell is so good. Alright, moving on to the drow. Um, he's attacking the paladin. Of course he is. He's attacking the one who drew him out of the Uh, does a 19 hit? It does, actually. You are incredibly lucky because it was originally going to be a um, a critical. Oh, okay. But with the minus oh, four, okay. it's no longer a critical. Oh, that is very nice. No, no. So you just take six dash. It is six um, damage. Nice. Oh, wait. Yeah. Okay. And the second roll misses completely because it's a seven. Cute. <laughs> Finally, some good luck. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, um, the, the, the uh, half elf reloads his crossbow and fires one and hits. him down just that much further and the drow looks like as if now he wants to run. Alright. <laughs> well, Alwyn got a lucky night last She can die with a good memory. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Agnar, it's your turn. All right. I will take my two-handed sword. I will grab it by the blade, raise it above my head, and try to strike this guy with the cross guard. I'm doing a mortar strike on this guy. He's pissed me off that much. Though it would be bludgeoning, not slash. Does it hit? Yes, it does. Ow! Still not down. Still not down. Oh my gosh, this guy has like freaking insane life. Um, all in. All in, it's your turn. Um, hold on. I wanna cast Healing Word on. Uh, on all one. So one D four plus four. Five again. That's the only thing I know so well. It's like a harmonic was only rolling three for damage from all the rounds. Um Owen's gonna. Well, this is past the point of no return, unfortunately. And I was gonna say, unfortunately, you're gonna have to go down. 
but uh, this should work out. And uh, smack, smack him again. And now, does the inspiration still last? Yes, yes it does. It lasts for a full minute. Okay. So as soon as you use it, though, it's gone. So yes. if you're wanting to use it, use it. I am going to use it. Uh, what was the dice roll? Uh, again? D6. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a confidence spell. Ooh. That Ooh. hits. And would it be possible to divine smite? Yes. Okay, let's get that done. Uh, first level, of course. Don't have any higher level. That's a big roll. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty decent for us. That's so good. Just to, just to keep this guy from getting up and hurting people even more. At first it was something that was just not very fun to tolerate. Now it's a bit more serious. There's some tough mocha. I need to get out of here. Malik, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and play it safe, and I'm going to uh, shoot him from a distance. That hits. Four piercing. Yeah. Um... The bandit now, seeing how the battle has turned, is trying to run away, eliciting a, um, a an, an attack of opportunity first from Agnar. Still doing it with the pommel. So, probably already. I knew I should have taken a step closer. He's still up, though. Oh, no. Can I divide and divide it? And uh, he will also elicit an attack of opportunity from Alwyn. Oh, gosh. There's going to be the battle. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that Do hits. It, uh... Let's run more damage. Yeah, that guy's down. Yeah, that's pretty good. Doesn't include the smite, so that's nice. Yes. He's down, and are you killing him with that, or are you just not? I don't want to kill him. Shoot the right, he's... The he's knocked out. Okay. Now I'm just going to kind of turn to the guy who was attacked, and uh, actually. Lay on hands for a couple of HP from what he took from just stepping away. Um, sure, I'll throw the other five. Uh, lay on hands at the guy. And kind of say, that was a little extreme, are you okay? I'm fine. I was not expecting him to go down so easily. Oh, it's considerably easy when you have friends and people around to take care of you. Uh, do you want to, uh, me to try and walk you home? Make sure you're okay? While uh, the other two get him to like the police or someone? Well, if the guards will deal with such a matter, you can go get them. But yeah, thank you for saving my life. I'm serious about offering to walk you home. It's apparently dangerous out. Al, oh, why don't no. you go ahead and uh, escort him home? We'll see to the drow. I'm gonna give yeah. him a look. You okay with that, man? Like, come on. Even day one. Day one. Day one. All right, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll go. And you can escort him off to his ship. Oh, he's a dog boy. 
Malik and Agnar, you have I a will. beaten draw or drow laying on the ground. I will grab the drow, hoist him over my shoulder, and start walking towards the top. I am going to redirect you to where uh, I can meet up with the Syntharum. You're walking him towards the yawning. I'm I'm walking him towards the tavern. I'm the guy carrying this thing. I'm walking him towards the tavern. No, why are you taking him there? We have someone else we can take him to who can probably do a better job of interrogating. But I really want some information. Well, you like, can get the information too, but we can also take him to the network. Yeah. I'm not trusting much this in time since they're flooding the the streets off. I never the told you it was. Uh, I never said it's a centaurum. Actually, I wanted to. Uh, I would have used phrasing like, right. "This is the people who hired me." Just like you weren't telling me it was to Harper's earlier. I told you it was a hard one. Well, you, you went with me, so you knew all the things. Oh, I thought you had said that uh, you were keeping it a secret who it was. Well, yeah, that was before the opera. Um, okay. We both went to the opera together. It was just me who was in the <laughs> All right, all right. I'll, I'll follow your lead this time. Okay. I'll carry it toward his contact. Maybe we don't actually haul him into the yawning portal, so, you know, hang out here. I'll go get my contact. Then I will go in. I will tell him, hey, we got a drow outside. All right. Well, he's he's going toward getting his contact. I'm going to search the drow for any markings, any tattoos, any notes, anything of that sort. To see if there's something to identify who he's affiliated with. Um... If he's royalty from from where, anything of that sort, to kind of identify him per se. There is a tattoo on him that is actually in um, Drow. You can't really read it because you don't know Undercommon or Drow. But yeah, he's um. He's not quite, uh, from what you know of the drow, they're not exactly, for the most part, they're not exactly, as a society, a trustworthy peoples. Um, the Undercity, the under the Underdark, as it's called, is more or less run by them, and they are cruel, they are a matriarchal society, and they worship Loth. All right. Um, well, so I, I had to, but I can't read it. Um, I want to try one of two things. Um, either to try to memorize it to the best of my ability or to create a minor illusion. To create a minor illusion of it in front of me, at least on the floor, and keep doing that minor illusion until we get to the tavern so I can actually write it down. Although I don't know the letters, I do want to keep it in mind so that we can maybe later ask someone who knows it, like uh, the Dragonborn. The name is good. To Rashal. Uh, Alright. Um, Malik? Daville comes out with you, looks over your catch, and then goes, thank you very much. And he hands over to you a um, wallet of gold, a, a pouch of gold, 50 gold for each of you, for bringing this man over to us. Thank you very much. I think 
if this is who I think it is, the Bregan Derathi will really want him back. Well, I know Agnar is going to insist that uh, we get a few answers from the guy also. I'll get you any information that, he, that we get out of Well, uh, Malik doesn't really have an objection. Uh, I don't know how much uh, Agnar is going would be insisting. So, we'll um, we'll wait for him to get back. So, who was uh, the uh, the name that you just mentioned uh, wanting to talk to him? Who do you think this is? Who do you think that that is a group of drow that uh, are a bit of troublemakers. They have a way of causing a vast amount of trust, vast amount of issues for us. Well, uh, you know, the rumor is that it's the vast majority of drow, as you know, they tend to uh, view most non-drow as sacrifice material, so... Well, yes. Yes, they, they do. And this is this is quite the interesting catch. Because he is very rarely seen. And if he's about, it's going to be fun. I'll be right back. I need to grab something real fast. Okay. Okay. Because he's one of the group's lieutenants. Practical habit. You guys escape the interrogation as I make sure victims get home safely. <laughs> uh, I wasn't really sure, you know, where Alwyn was going to fall on the whole hand him over to someone other than the guard situation, so. It's better that, yeah, I don't know about it. Yeah. I mean, it's not that I think that these guys are going to just outright execute him, although I'm not going to object if that's what they want to do. I'm in this for information. Yeah. I think Alwyn will trust the information uh, and trust the, the cause of information of we can finally talk about this. But, oh, yeah. Uh, I wasn't going to tell her where I got the information from. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could just say we had a friend help question. Yeah. That's it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to I would phrase it as we turn them over, you know, to the authorities. And this is what the information we got out of it. Yeah, because I... I think if it comes down to it, she would even turn people over to uh, back staff if, like, she needs someone. Um, so, like, she she would be aware of. Uh... I figure the black staff would want to just go to the authority. She's part of the system. Yeah, but if like she had something off the side, uh, I'd happily provide. Because it's it's not even that it's illegitimate, it's more that it's, I'm doing this for a friend. And so, yeah, that framing might kind of go, we don't need to involve guards, we can just arrange this ourselves. <laughs> a little bit. Not going to be 100% law. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Um... Yeah, if, if this is who I think it is, this is Saloon Zabrandis, who is um, 
who is a member of the Bregan Directory and is quite loyal to a very particular head of theirs. Now, what was his name again? I want to write it down. Solun Zebrindis. S-O-L-W-N. So, U-U-N. X-I-B-R-I-N-D-A-S. Okay, I probably didn't write it down the correct spelling. Oh, there it is. That way. That will... That yes, will. but without the E. Without the E. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Luckily, there's only one E, so that still works. <laughs> oh. Close enough. As long as I can pronounce it later. Yeah, I always. Because fantasy spellings. <laughs> yeah, that's why so yeah, that's... many of uh, my world's characters have very. Easy to pronounce names. Very Anglo Saxon. Okay, Agnar, uh, we were given uh, 50 gold. Oh, he's not listening yet. I am. Oh, okay. No. All right, so we have a name. Uh, he, we think he's a lieutenant with a drow group, and they will question him and fill us in later. Unless you he want has no to. Uh, with. He has no affiliation with any of the major groups or guilds. He does have a connection. If it is who I think it is, he does have a connection to a drow yeah. group who are quite um, underhanded and evil. Alright. I mean, we we do deal in shady thing, but this is their particular brand of shady is quite dark and nefarious. I can imagine so. Yes. And as we uh, as you know, we are primarily information brokers. Uh, I can trust that this information gained from through his discussion will be shared with us later on. Yes, yes, it will. Yeah, I'm kind of saying that yeah. to both of them to make it clear. I expect information, and I trust we'll get information. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, well, with that, uh, I think we uh, can safely say we've left him in good hands. Yeah. And with that, we end tonight. As we will continue on with our gun, with our gun sweepers in the on the next session. Right. Okay. And hopefully, at some point, we'll actually level up to level three, where we can get some power. I don't know why yeah. level three is where everybody says the power begins, but that's where all the good benefits really kick in. Whoa. Subclasses, monastic tradition. Yeah, all that exactly. Stuff. So, well, well, you guys, you guys for this uh, for this encounter all got uh, three hundred and sixty-seven experience. So, okay, right back. On top of the, I don't actually know where to write that down anywhere. So somebody just remind me later on. Where's the XP here? Oh, they, um... No. But anyway, uh, I'll, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll call it here for the night. want to thank... Uh, I never was able to pronounce your guys' names. Uh, Ashes. We're going to go with that because it's on the far side of my screen. And if I pronounce it any other way, then we break that whole family-friendly thing I was talking about earlier. So uh, we'll be back next week with Expendable Crew, the game I run, where I am determined to kill those people eventually one day. And uh, we hope to see you there. Farewell. Thank you very much for, for joining us tonight, Arshes.
and and it is just hard. It's it's like ashes, but with an R. Okay, like I said, it's kind of hard to read, and I wasn't wearing my glasses, so close enough for me. 